here at the Jackson County Library System and I'm going to show you how to do the magazine world art which is our tween teen activity. Um, you can pick up a kit to create one of these all through March and it has pretty much everything you need to make your own magazine world art like I made my whale here. So I'm going to dive right in and show you how you do this. Okay, so in your kit, you'll get a canvas board like this one. We've got three different sizes, so it'll be a surprise which size you get. And then you're going to get a silhouette and some magazines, glue, and a Q-tip. What you are going to want to grab is a pencil and some scotch tape. So that's all you need to grab are those two things. The rest is all in the kit. And the first thing you can do is grab your magazines and you're gonna to wanna to just flip through them and find some colorful pictures. So like here, this one's got some good color on it and you can just rip those out as you go. If you have more magazines at home that you wanna use, go grab those and you just go through, find some colorful ones and rip them out. So find a bunch of them as you go through your magazines. And then every magazine page, you are going to rip into quarters. So you're gonna fold it once each way. Fold it that way. And you wanna really press down on that crease and it'll make it easier just to rip them. If you wanna cut them into fourths, feel free to do that. But the magazine pages are pretty easy to just rip as long as you get that crease in there really nice. There's that. Okay, so now you can just rip along there. And they don't need to be perfect because we're just rolling them up and you won't see it in the finished product. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do to each page is you are going to rip it up into fourths. And then once you have them all ripped up, we need to roll them up into tubes like this. And so these are a little bit bigger tubes versus in my example, I did small tight ones. So this is where you're gonna get to decide what you wanna do. If you do the small ones, obviously you're gonna need more. Um, and if you wanna do the small, you just have to roll it tighter. So you're just gonna start really small. And you can do it on this short edge or the long edge, depending on where the color is on your little quarter piece. And so yeah, you just roll it tight. And once you get it going, it goes pretty fast. And you gotta do this for each quarter piece. So that might play into if you decide you want small tubes or big tubes. And then you just grab your tape and take a tiny, tiny piece. It is not big. Just need a small piece like that and you put that to kind of keep it together there so there's one of those smaller tubes if you want the bigger ones that's why I had to grab a pencil and let's see let's grab this one and it's like I'm putting this piece it has a lot of white on this side where it has the color more on this side so I'm going to leave this for last so it's on the outside. So I'm gonna start with this side and I'm gonna use my pencil and roll it around my pencil. And that'll just make it a little bit bigger tube. And again, getting starting, started can take a little bit of work, but then you just roll and roll and roll. Pull your pencil out. And again, just a small piece of tape and there you go so it's just a bigger roll and it doesn't take quite as many to do your whole animal so you're going to want to make a whole bunch of rolls and you want to try and get even more than you think you need just in case you misjudge it so then you're going to grab after you got all those rolled out you're going to grab your silhouette and a pair of scissors so that is one more thing that you need to grab is a pair of scissors and you're gonna cut it out so that you have the silhouette like this. 
So you just cut that out quick. And there's a bunch of different animals. Some of you might get a bear, some of you might get a whale. There's owls, wolves, all sorts of animals that we've got. And then I like to lay out my tubes and kind of see my colors come together. Or you can just go ahead and glue stuff down and not worry about it. That's completely up to you and how much you want to put into the project. So you can just keep putting in colors, colors, colors. And you've got a bunch of tubes that I had all done up. And right now I'm not worrying so much about being perfect. I'm just kind of seeing what I like for colors together and that kind of stuff. So you can put different stuff down. And it also helps you make sure that you have enough tubes because you want to know that before you get all of that glued down. It's always good to know. So as you can see, it's obviously going over the design and going beyond what you really need. But we are going to do some trimming afterwards. So that's no worry later. And some other colors. So I had a mix of some short and some long. There's that. There's another one. Okay, so I've got plenty of enough tubes there if I want to keep them in that color combination or not. But I know I have enough now. I've got plenty of extra. So I'm just going to slide those off of it. And now we're going to get to the gluing. So you're going to take your glue, and if you want, you can just kind of pour some. And then use your Q-tip to spread that all around. You want to make sure you cover the whole thing. So you might want to cover your workspace with um, some newspaper it can get messy moving all this glue around. And you don't want to use all your glue on this part because you are going to need more glue and we put it onto the canvas. So as you can see I'm trying to really spread it all around so I have plenty left over. my bear all covered there he is and now I just start putting these on and obviously I'm going to try and put this seam to the bottom okay. and now you just cover it all up and as you can see, it's easier because I had them laid out. So that's why I would suggest that you just do some looking and some positioning of things. Like make sure they're nice and tight. And then after this, you are gonna need to let it sit for a couple hours at least. You could even maybe just let it sit for until the next day and work on it again. And that's going to make sure that the glue completely dries. If you have a hot glue gun at home and your parents say it's okay for you to use it or they help you use it, that can help speed along this process. And you could just use hot glue to attach it, each one of these rolls, and not have to worry about the dry time. But I gave you some regular white glue, so that takes a little bit for it to dry. But 
it's easy for everyone to use and a lot easier for me to pack into a kit for you all. So there's that. Looks like I need maybe one more long one here. Let's see. So here I packed them in a little bit tighter this time versus when I was just looking at them. So I needed to add some in. And that's why we make extra. Okay. And here are these shorter ones, you can really move them around so you get the part of the color that you want. Okay, I'm almost done here. Okay. Magazine tubes are on there. So there, it doesn't really look like much now, but we're gonna leave this dry for a couple hours, and then when you come back, we'll do the trimming and attaching to a canvas. So there we go. Now go grab a book, or maybe you could come stop into the library and find something to check out. But you've got a couple hours now until you can do the rest of it. All right, see you back here in a bit. Now that it's had a chance to dry, You'll have all your tubes on here. They're nice and stuck. You are gonna flip it over so you can do the trimming. So you're just gonna grab some scissors and you're going to cut around. And this is probably gonna be a messy process, but you just cut around the outline of your silhouette here. So as you can see, I'm just cutting through those tubes so that it'll all match at least fairly close, the shape of my silhouette. So it'll be a recognizable animal at the end. And if some of your silhouettes are a little more complicated than you want, feel free to cut something off so it gets a little bit easier for you to cut. And some of these might come off as you're cutting, but you'll just be able to glue on whatever comes off after you're done. And that one kind of came undone. So I'll have to do some repair over there. Not a big deal. I'm gonna go into fast mode here so you don't have to keep watching me cut. As you can see, I'm starting to get that silhouette in there. Okay, so now I have a mess of scraps and my silhouette is cut out. As you can see, there's still some messy spots there where it didn't cut so nicely. So now we're in kind of repair mode for a little bit here. So like this one came unrolled and unstuck. So I'm gonna have my glue handy and my Q-tip. And then I'm gonna roll it back up. Put some glue under there. And there we've got that covered. And then there's still a little bit that left uncovered. So I'm gonna see about adding a tiny little piece from my scraps here. So let's see. And I can just add this longer one. I'm gonna put that glue there and I'm gonna stick this one in. So 
And then I'm gonna let that dry while I work on some repair work over here. So down here, this one just sort of unrolled a little bit. I'm just gonna roll it back up. Put that glue down in there again. There's that. And I've got a little empty space over here. So again, just find a little scrap I can use. Here's a little one. So that's just some repair work that we're doing there. Okay, now we've got her good. And at this, just to make it go a little faster, you can just kind of hold it on there while you do some trimming. Since you don't have so many, like the whole entire thing like you did before, you can kind of speed through this process and just do some trimming while you go. Still stuck on there good. Feet are okay without trimming. I think we've got everything repaired. There's one little spot here for trimming. Okay. So now I've got my whole magazine rolled guy. Yeah, this one. A little bit of glue here. So now we can add it to the canvas. And obviously you're gonna to wanna to clean up your space here eventually, all these little pieces of magazine rolls. Okay, so you grab a canvas, you're gonna attach glue to the back of this. So again, if you want, you could just pour some out and spread it around. And at this point, you could use the rest of your glue to make sure it's nice and covered if you want, because we're not gonna use any more. This is the last thing you need to do. And so you're gonna wanna make sure the entire thing is completely covered. And see, I'm just using my Q-tip, spreading it all around, making sure there's a good, nice layer. Okay, so there it is covered. So you'll just take it and place it on your canvas and press it down. And then you'll just leave it to dry on your canvas for about two hours, maybe a little bit more, and then it'll be all dried and you can prop it up on something, you can hang it on a wall, but you will have your own Animal Silhouette magazine art. So enjoy. If you want to get this kit, it is free at any of the libraries. So you just gotta give us a call. The numbers will be at the very end and you can pick up your own Magazine World Art Kit. And they are completely free and they're available for tweens and teens. So that's grades five through 12. So give us a call, bye.